Pro tip number 12. We're getting up there. Now, <clears throat> I actually can't take credit for this pro tip, and it is one of the better ones. So, uh, I'd like to thank Mike Mott from Mott's Leather Designs. Uh, he uh, emailed me a little while ago about a uh, little tip that he uses, and uh, sh was, he shared it with me. And I tried it out, liked it so much, I'm using it myself, so I thought I'd share it with you all. Uh, be sure to check out his uh, website, Mott's Leather Designs. It's on Etsy. He does amazing work, beautiful coin rings, and also some amazing leather work. I used to do leather work, and I'm not patient enough. It is tough work, and he does beautiful, a beautiful job. So be sure to check out his site. I'll put it up here for you to click on. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you his tip that he uses. Okay, so... What uh, Mike discovered when using the 5 8 punch uh, for punching out Morgan dollars and the larger coins, uh, it was he found a, a better way to get the plug out of the die of uh, uh, after he, he punches the hole. So I just wanted to share with you uh, what his tip on on getting that out. Uh, so. So here's a self-centering coin ring punch that's available on jasonsworks.etsy.com. Uh, here is the 5 8 This is an upgrade kit that you can get with the 5 8 punch uh, for the larger coins, such as the Morgan. What you want to do is make sure you have the flat edge of the die facing up. Place that in there. And there's the spacer for the Morgan dollar. That comes with the uh, punch. Place the dollar in and set the uh, top of the housing down and we'll be using a, uh, a brass uh, brass hammer to punch the hole. You can also use a, a press if you like, but I, I like to use the hammer. So we'll go ahead and punch a hole out. There we go, perfectly centered hole. Just use a rubber dead blow to remove the coin. There you go. So now what we have, we've got a perfectly centered hole in our coin, and we've got a plug that is in the punch housing. Now, because of the just the the physics and design of the punch, not able to uh, have the plug be removed out of the base of the housing. Uh, we can only do up to half inch on that, so the 5 8 takes a little extra step. Uh, but what you want to do is actually take the die out, flip it over. I found that it's, it's better to flip it over because on the other side, the, uh, the raised portion is on the outside of the die. And then here's the trick. Here's, here's Mike's trick. You take the spacer for the dime and you put that in there and that holds the very edge of that 5 8 die in place. Now <clears throat> the, the, the uh, spacer for the dime is available with the quarter inch punch kit and that, this is what comes in that. You get the die, the punch, you also get a spacer for a penny and also a dime and then a top plate and that holds the coins in place while you punch it. So that is where you can get the uh, dime spacer. So anyhow, back to the pro tip. Place in your dime spacer and seat it down. And then flip it over and now we'll punch a wood dowel through this hole and push that plug out. So you can take uh, just a, a 3 8 uh, wood dowel or half inch or so, just place that in there and then hammer that down with your rubber dead blow hammer. And there you go. Look at that. Mike, I can't thank you enough. You've saved me a lot of time and, and headache and hopefully uh, a lot of other people as well. So uh, be sure to check out his site again and be sure to check out my site as well. And let me know uh, what you think. Go ahead and subscribe and uh, 
to the to my YouTube channel. I'll keep posting some some pro tips uh, for you guys and hope to uh, help you make coin rings better, faster, better and faster. And we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.